This is a life board. The fact that it's a board, it's pretty obvious. It is live because it can be linked together with another live board, and together with another live board, and another live board, and as many live boards as you wish. Of course, we are here in a studio, and we brought just two of them. But what makes it really alive is you and all the other people that you want to interact with, as Miss X and Mr. Y, that will assist me in showing you how LiveBoard works. None of them need to know which is the technology that powers this system, and none of them need to read any amount of documentation about it, because LiveBoard is already a part of the environment you're already used to. They just use it as a normal surface of a blackboard or a flip chart. The beauty is that both of them can write or draw at the same time, and the result of their action instantly appears on all the live boards in the network. In other words, their entire interaction is instantly displayed on all live boards. What you've just seen was possible because somewhere in the cloud there's a virtual device they interact with through their boards. A paged virtual device that allows both Miss X and Mr. Y to work simultaneously on the same page. As you can see, LiveBoard genuinely integrates technology in the conventional environment using a natural interface to create a friendly workspace where the presence of the information system is non-intrusive, while the use of the virtual tools and objects is intuitive and familiar. As I know, both Miss X and Mr. Y used to write a lot. After a while, the whole live board will become insufficient. That's why the virtual device is a multi-page device. Thank you both. This means that we have online, synchronous collaboration. If reading, writing, and drawing are not enough to express, they can use a local file system, a server-side repository, or they can import content from the internet. Ah, by the way, this Venus model is known as being wrong, as it is known that the right model, the Copernicus model, brought us the right understanding of the nature of gravity. So, we can use LiveBoard for live remote teaching. In this case, the classroom becomes virtual, consisting of several physical classrooms and individual tablets placed in different locations. The educational institutions have now the opportunity to expand both the geographical coverage and the market share, while keeping the same exceptional professorial core that brought success and recognition. The students living in remote locations will benefit of this feature as well. We need one good professor to provide knowledge and interact with all the students in these locations. But LiveBoard may also be used to provide tutoring. Your child can accede to the desired teacher, no matter where they live, while both of them enjoy the coziness and the familiarity of their own home. Using LiveBoard, they will work as they are in the same room, sharing the same notebook. LiveBoard can be used for office meetings as well. How many times your company use the multi-location meeting through a video conferencing system. Now you can add to that the live collaboration of the same virtual flip chart and turn their personal notebooks in the main collaboration space of the meeting. Everything that happens inside a session can be saved and replayed, resumed, annotated later, or kept for future reference. This is what I call live. It is real interaction. 
in real time among real people. It is natural, friendly, and easy to use. And of course, it has a voice and image component that lets you see and hear the people you are collaborating with. But we are here, in a studio, and here we can see and hear each other without it. Liveboard is just using the virtual space to let people to behave as they naturally behaving in their own habitat. Liveboard brings the physical and the virtual world in one reality, regardless of where you are located, and lets you <laughs> enjoy one world.